Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. So we're on another episode of Better Call Saul. This is season three, episode seven. Okay, so last episode was the conclusion of Jimmy's trial slash meeting slash whatever it was with the um, state bar committee. Jimmy won best case scenario in his, in his position. Instead of having his license like completely stripped away from him he is on like a 12 month suspension which of course that is not what chuck wants he took it as a loss even though like howard was like trying to say you know it's not necessarily a loss because there's still 12 months where if jimmy does anything associates with anybody bad that he could have his license officially taken away from him um so it's not a complete loss it just feels like it because you know chuck he really thought he had it jimmy he can't practice during that time which means how the heck is he gonna make any money he has commercials he has like, I think, what was it? Nine slots open for commercials. He can't air, obviously, his lawyer commercial because he, he can't be a lawyer right now. And if he doesn't use them, it, that's like, I think he said like $4,000 down the drain. So he's like coming up with like this creative way to sell them to people. He's gotta find a way to pay for his office. He doesn't wanna fire Francesca. He doesn't wanna give up the office. He's like, we're keeping it as long as I can keep up with my half, we are keeping it. There's Nacho and Hector. Nacho is kind of not happy with Hector right now because Hector wants to find another business to kind of run his, you know, side business. He's looking at Nacho's father and he wants to use him to kind of like transport drugs across the border instead of just using Gus this entire time. Also, we got to see with Gus, he is looking at locations for a meth lab which was the laundry so it's really fun seeing like oh this is like the early stages of uh gus's plan of like branching off from the cartel so there's like a lot of things being set up right now um a lot of conflict and a lot of like what the heck are they planning on doing let's go ahead and start this episode this one is called um expenses oh community service that's right he has to do community service as part of like his deal, I guess. Are you allowed to answer your phone? Good morning, Saul Goodman Productions. Oh, that's right. He's a production company uh, that's now. Right. We for forty forty six hundred dollars. Yeah. Forty six hundred dollars. And we can hello? Do they hang well, up? I'm not practicing, right. so I don't need malpractice insurance. And oh. I'd like to speak to someone about a refund. You but probably yeah, won't be able to get a I refund. Please... Wait a minute, this is 30 minutes. Yeah. We were out here for four hours. You were on your phone. You knew the rules when you signed up. But I collected more garbage than anybody out here. I have to be able to conduct business to earn a living. No. What do you mean, no? That's messed Thank you, community uh, service. Yeah, we are out here for the good of the great city of Albuquerque. Not for you. You're not our lord and master. You don't get to sit back and decide who's worthy and who isn't. Am I right? Yeah, nobody's going to back Dude, you. are you going to get in the van or what? Yeah. What a little douchebag. What the heck is he doing? Uh oh, does he have to be somewhere after this? Is this him cleaning up? You should have brought like a fresh set of clothes. Oh, he did, okay. Yeah, okay. Come on down to Duke City Recliners and put your feet up. Mention this ad and get 10% off your first purchase. And cut. Great. How was that? Good for Sounds good. Yep. Thank you. Um, that was great. So come on down to Duke City Recliners and put your feet up. Mention this ad and get 10% off your first purchase. And cut! Great! That's the one! Check the I mean, it was better than the last deal. one, I mean. Yes, what, what did you think? Good! Uh, sure. So good! Just very... I only have enough to pay for the one. Mm, yeah. Well, you know what? I think we can do the whole thing for 500 per commercial. Now, that is 3500 all in. That is the bargain of a lifetime. Is he going to go for it? I don't know. Oh. Uh, wow, Mr. Moneybags, huh? <laughs> so this drained your bank account, did you? Probably, yeah. $24. <clears throat> oh, 
Does he not have enough? Yeah, keep the change. A dollar. Yeah. We can make it zero. Oh, that was mean. Don't, oh my god, we're, it's him again. I was just about to say, don't ever short people tips. That's not nice at all, Jimmy. <laughs> With 30 different locks on his door. <laughs> and an alarm. Ah! Jeez! What the hell? I mean, oh what the hell? God. How did get in here? Apologize, because that's really the only talk I want to hear. <laughs> I want to do some business, like before. Business. Okay. Is that like code for stealing my baseball cards? <laughs> oh, calm down. Oh, yeah. So he is going to sabotage Hector's stuff, right? The pill. I need those capsules empty before they're sealed <sighs> with those exact markings. So he can replace Hector's pills. So he does have something to do the with his I sickness. Work doesn't make these. Why? I mean, what's the point? I need them. Yeah. He'll probably pay you, though. Are you gonna threaten me? Break my legs? Don't push it. You get me those pills, and I'm gonna pay you $20,000. Yeah, see, come on. Of course there's money in it. I have a couple mm. of volunteers here. Wanna help? Well, thanks, but I think I'm good. Please. We can't let you do it out by <laughs> yourself. Certainly. <laughs> I wanna hire you again. For what I now? Hire you. As my backup man, same terms as before. I don't want to make the same mistake as last time. Yeah. It's Nacho Varga. Nacho man. Sorry. He broke into my house. He was inside waiting for me. Somehow he got past my security system. I have um, no idea. Yeah. All he it's had to 20 do different was unplug your phone lines. Oh, that's it? <laughs> oh, really? Lines were still. Yeah, they're like nitroglycerin. And he offered me money, I mean, lots of money, way more than they're even worth. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. He's probably not going to take no for an he answer. Can't get what he needs. I already ordered them. Oh, I mean, the shipment gets here. <laughs> I'll give you three thousand. I'm not interested, and you find a way out of it. But not interested. You you might want to be interested, Mike. Read the transcripts, all of them. Oh, um, it was amazing. What you did to Charles, you and James set him up perfectly. You destroyed him. Yeah. Oh. It was perfect. It was, but it was wrong. The scenery is bad. Who talks like that? Chuck does. I okay. kind of, it was wrong. She keeps talking about it and it's like, yeah, we did something dirty. <laughs> I can imagine like she's probably feeling a little bit guilty for it. I know I am and I didn't even do shit. <laughs> oh, I think we're going to need to check that. That number seems way off. Oh. The numbers are right, but you can review the guidelines if you want, right here. Oh, she's getting irritated. You gonna check them or can we move on? Oh, Kim, you get a little spicy. Hey, Jim, uh, that was unprofessional. I didn't mean to speak to you that way. Kim, don't worry, it's not a problem, okay? Hmm. It was a little weird. <laughs> All we did was tear down a sick man. Oh, she brought it. Okay. Sorry, I was distracted by that loud ass noise. Yeah, I get Kim having like a, having that guilt. Oh my God, what did you do this time, Jimmy? Why is he so dirty? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh. Good. Come on. I just need to think for one minute. <sighs> We're taking You're gonna the have bus. To, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you either take the bus or you run for it. Richie Blackmore. You know who that is, right? Someone no one's ever heard of. That's yeah, real good. I hope your parents <laughs> enjoy supporting you for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Come on. I Richie love the Blackmore. way he claps back. <laughs> we hate to do this to you, but we're having second thoughts. Yeah. I get it. That's just nerves. Just stage Twins. Fright. But but what about the time slot? I mean, murder she wrote repeats. Come, Come on. on. Hey. Grandma's love buying the gift of music for. That's like true. It's not really gift. good for their business. I'm sorry, but we can't. Not today, guys. 
Oh don't do that. my Guys, god. Yeah, come on, look at my You want this? I know you do. 50%. See, you need us. Yeah, make it, them sign a contract. <clears throat> I'll shoot the spot for free. Free? When you see more traffic coming through here, and you will, then we do the other spots for the original rate. Okay, now how can you say no? I mean, when he puts it like that, I guess we can't. Good. Oh no, he's gonna have to pay out of pocket. Oh, this is bad. <sighs> Mr. McGill. Oh. No, I, I can't. It's okay. That's, oh, that's really serious. sweet. He went hiking in Gila National and never came back. They found our car, but they never found him. Oh. I don't know if that's rough. Slipped and fell or had a heart right. attack. Or I wish it didn't matter. But it does. But it does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You make the deal? Uh, no, not yet. It's like good. Uh, I'm hired. <laughs> I'm gonna sell him a worthless credit card for five thousand bucks. Here's what you do: make eye contact with him. It's all it'll take for him to think you're interested. I'll act good and drunk and he'll think I'm a loser and try to steal you away. He will persist. Let him know you're trying to roll me. He'll want in. He'll help you ply me with booze. Then you take my wallet, you lift the card. Following this? We're not actually doing this, right? We're just talking. No. Is there another way? Another way to not. I don't Chuck know. Is that everything oh, yeah. that happened was his own fault. Everything. Mm. Put him in the rearview mirror. He is not worth thinking about. Done. I don't know about that thinking. Your boss has heart problems. You already got it all figured out. Why are you asking? How are you going to make the switch? Mm. It's going to be hard because. Hector he... keeps the pills in his coat pocket. When he hangs up his coat, I'll make the switch. Hmm. He goes down, then what? His heart goes out. That's it. A lot of eyes on Salamanca. Yeah. You do this. Has Gus been tracking him, too? No? There are more people than the Salamancas to worry about here. Now, if you <laughs> manage to pull this off without a bullet in your head and switch those pills, then switch them back. Switch them back. Why? Anyone gets so that you don't get caught. Yeah. The medicine not working. They're, they're gonna, gonna look check. at those pills. Yeah, and they're gonna know right away. You do this. Switch them back. Right. I was hoping I could get a refund for the time that I won't be a lawyer. Now that's only fair, like, right? Uh, it would be. I'm sorry, Mr. But Bill. It doesn't work like that. Right. The premiums are going to go oh, up. Oh, they're gonna raise. Yeah. Considerably. One hundred and fifty percent. One hundred and fifty percent. That is more than double. Why? Oh God, is he gonna start crying? Oh. Oh my I'm God. <laughs> you broke Jimmy. I don't think we've it's ever hard. seen him cry. Unless he's faking it. Getting run out on this community service and getting ripped off left and right and my car won't start. Oh. My gal is disappointed in me and my brother is sick and he's alone. Oh. I spent years caring for him and now he hates me. He's mentally ill. He's, he's holed up in a house with no electricity. He's working by the light of gas lanterns. <laughs> he's what making mistakes with his clients. He's mixing up numbers on important documents. He, he, had a complete mental breakdown at the bar hearing. Your brother, he had a breakdown in court? Yeah. It's in the transcripts. <laughs> Wait, is he pl Jimmy. Just... You did I thought this was for real. I was like, oh, it's so refreshing to see how he's truly feeling. And yet he's playing us. What are you writing? No, don't write. I I didn't mean to say that. I don't want him to get in trouble with you guys because of me. I, right. 
Um, sorry, I'm gonna go. <laughs> it's in the transcripts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a <laughs> that was mean again. Oh, that's the end of the episode. <laughs> so he literally he went in there. He he found out that oh I can't get a okay, refund. Uh, now can it? So anyways, he he goes in there and is like asking for a refund. Doesn't get it. So then he's like, you know what? I'm gonna drag my brother down with me. I do feel sorry for him, but like a part of it is kind of like you did do something wrong. And this is the consequences. He did it. He didn't really do it for himself either. Like he had noble intentions. He did it for somebody that he really loved. And he felt that somebody else wronged her. So he took action against that person. And that's noble intentions. Um, it's just he did something wrong. And yes, you're going to have to suffer the consequences. This type of situation makes people desperate. So I'm nervous a little bit to see like what else is he going to do. Because right now he's drugging Chuck... He's drugging. <laughs> He's dragging Chuck down now. This kind of reminds me of like Walter White in season one, um, very beginning, where they're just like everything just kept piling on, and that's kind of like what pushed him to go into the drug business is because the whole financial problems, like everything going on in his life was just wrong. Nothing was going right for him. That's kind of like where Jimmy is right now in this situation. I'm just curious to see exactly what solution he's going to have for his financial problems and what he's planning on doing. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's reaction. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next episode. So goodbye and have a nice life. Bye.